Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Meaty69, and I'm back with a slightly different video uh, to what I usually do. Um, this video is a bit longer than usual. Uh, it does have five battles, so it is slightly longer. Now, these battles are not the greatest battles, uh, and most of the viewers will, might be like, why has he posted just a average battle? Now, the story of this, of me posting this video, is one of my friends in game, uh, he contacted me a couple of days ago, and he asked me if I can just put a shout out to his eight year old son, who's gonna be nine after, after Christmas. So he's eight years old, and he pretty much said that he loves me as a YouTuber, uh, and it will really mean a lot to him if I give him a little shout out. So instead of giving him a shout out, I I asked uh, the dad what his favourite tank was because I was going to then make a video dedicated it uh, to this boy. Uh, but his response wasn't just one tank; it was. He loves the Dracula because of its fast. Uh, he loves the IS-6. Uh, he loves the Cromwell B and the Helsin because of the looks of the tank, which I, I must agree because they do both look fantastic. And he loves the E-100 because of the noise the gun makes. So what I decided to do was make a video on all of them tanks all of his favorite tanks so uh, and dedicate the whole video to this little boy whose name is Josh Evans so hi Josh Evans uh, thank you I know you're only eight uh, the same age as my one of my sons and I'm very pleased that you love my channel and I was happy when your dad got in contact with me and I was very happy to make a video just for you so first up is the Cromwell B we've had it's a lovely tank I love this tank for a tier 6 uh, the gun depression the, the reload the speed everything about this tank except for its armor is good now I mess up here I poke out and the SU 100Y is staring right in my face right in my face and I couldn't do anything about it so he does kill me and uh, we did have four kills uh, but we have still got three tanks alive and my teammates does the job and they take him out so that's the first battle uh, Crom will be uh, one of Josh's favorite tanks we do finish on two point 8k damage first class and we make 55,000 credits now I believe if I wouldn't have died I may have just aced that tank so moving on to our second battle another one of, of Josh's favorite tanks it is the Helsin now the Helsin just like the Dracula was released last year in the Halloween event and like the Dracula, it is an amazing tank. It's an amazing tank. Completely different to the Dracula. It's got that double barrel uh, cannon that does around 200-ish uh, per shell. So it shoots two shells at a time. So you do around 400 damage. And again, it's a fantastic tank. I love both this and and the Dracula. Uh, the Dracula a bit more because it's played completely different. The, the speed, it's pretty much a YOLO tank, unlike unlike this, which is a pretty much a, a bully tank. Now, I get extremely lucky. We completely annihilate the, the Panther, who does take out our LTTB, and then we come across uh, T25 AT, that is AFK. And so we managed to, to take him out. 
so we've got one tank down enemy have got two tanks down but we managed to flank around and we take another a lovely shot 300 403 damage on the hills and that was backing up so that was a lovely shot uh, you will find with the hells in because it's a double barrel shot usually if a tank's moving you're very lucky to get both shots in to the same target uh, 468 alpha there which is a, a nice nice roll for for the hells in it can do if you find a, uh, a spick or something with not much armor and you can he it could do around 600 damage which is pretty cool so we're pretty much uh, cleaning the enemy up they've got two tanks live just this kv1s which the vk2801 takes care of and then the amx m445 who has now got five tanks all chasing him and he cannot do much so we take our final shot into him before our vk uh, gets behind him and takes him out for the vk's third kill so we do only finish on on one kill but it was a nice team battle uh, we do finish on 3k damage only a third class but we do finish on 70,000 credits which is very nice for a tier 7 to earn 70,000 credits now so that's two two tanks down uh, two tanks of Josh, Josh's favourites, and we're moving on to the third, which is the Dracula, which he loves because of its speed. Now, I've done quite a few Dracula videos, and it's one of my favourite tanks in the game. Uh, I've just released a Dracula video a couple of days ago, Challenges, and it's just amazing. It's so much fun. It's not only that it's OP, it's just so much fun now i was going to go to the medium side because we have got two mediums and a light tank but i see none of my team were going that way so i decided to go with my team and we managed to take a nice bounce and then we do open up pretty much most of the enemy in the bay which was unexpected but we heart we are hid behind this building and we do keep poking out taking shots we get the VK down to a one shot and we poke out, someone shoots him and takes him out just before I can aim on him. So now we've got this Tiger, we've got the Predator, we've got the AMX, they are all in a bit of a bit of bother. Now the Tiger pokes out stupidly, my, all my team are here and this is where we decide to push. We've got all our team, there was only three tanks here, we take out the Tiger and then the AMX I'm not sure. I uh, no idea what he's doing. Uh, he gets one lucky shot into me only because I could not circle him. Because I hit a rock. As you do. Because the tank's so quick. And we put him on fire. Someone shoots him and then we take him out for our first kill. So already three tanks down. Uh, the Predator is killing our Spick. I take a stupid bounce onto him. Which he does then kill the Spick. Our KV4 takes him out. So, 6 against 3. T71, who will be now on a, a reload. I could switch to, to HE here, but I'm not too bothered about using any HE. So, our, our AMX takes him out. And then we've got a, a stray T23E3 just up on this hill. And he pretty much hasn't moved all bat battle. And he doesn't move, he just sits there. Even when I'm chasing him, he just reverses. Gets wrecked by our team. Decides to face me, miss me. And we take him out for our second kill. Now, one tank left, T-54 lightweight. I do now, even though we've got four tanks left alive, I do want to stay alive. And the T-54 is pretty much full health. And he's wrecking our... Uh, what's he reckon? Our T20, uh, T23 E3. Uh, he doesn't want to know me, so we do get behind him. Uh, we put him down, take one more shot into him, and I went in for the ram, but the T23 E3 got him first, so we do still finish on two kills. Lovely, again, lovely team battle in the bay. We finish on 3.5k damage, second class, 
and we have 65,000 credits. So just three battles, we've earned nearly 200,000 credits. So not bad at all. Swiftly moving on, next battle we have the IS-6. Now, this is the IS-6 Phyllis. I very rarely play my IS-6 because I have got the IS-6 Fearless. Uh, IS-6 Fearless is the exact same as the IS-6. It's just got the special uh, camouflage. So it is Supremacy. Uh, it is a Tier 7 battle. We have one of our team capping was capping A. Uh, a few of the, my teammates are at A. Most of my teammates are at A. Uh, one of my teammates has rushed off. Um, he's coming through the middle. So there's no need for me to go to A. Uh, I'm going to stick here by B. We we do open up a, a Comet. Who I'm not sure what he, he's doing just sitting there. But he gets wrecked. So now we have the SU-152 and the IS-6. And then to our right, we have the ISU-152. Uh, the AMX has just been, been spotted. So I do need to be careful of the ISU behind me. Uh, the rest of the team are to my left. So I am, as you see, I'm, I'm looking right. Because I do, really do not want to get shot by the ISU. And now I have to back up because I don't want to get shot by the, the, the SU. But the Indian Panzer comes to help me. He takes, he takes a shot. Uh, I take one into the I, uh, the SU-152, and our RU takes out the ISU. So now we have the AMX AC-48. Uh, uh, very troll tank, good gun. The armor's very, very troll, except for the, the top of it. But he yolos out in front of all my team, and he only gets one shot off. And that's all he does. So now we need to take out the, the SU. But our, our SU-122 manages to get him before he can do any more damage. So two and a half minutes gone. The Reds have got two bases. But that is not a problem. Because they've only got two left alive. Uh, stupid shot there. I should have uh, aimed a bit. I didn't aim. And we only track him. Now this is what annoys me about this, this tank. So... This is why I don't really play the IS-6. It's the gun is very inaccurate. The pen, like shots like this. I'm aiming at him at the track and all we do is track. Now that that's that's stupid. That that was a stupid shot. But our teammates take him out and we we all pretty much rush towards the last remaining IS-6. So we do pen him, we do track him, and then I believe it's the RU, give him a little ram, just a little bit more damage, and the RU251 takes him out. So again, a nice easy battle, nice team battle, and we, we did finish in 3.1k damage. Second class, we earned ourselves 75,000 credits, or 71, I missed that. 75,000 credits. So moving on again, our last battle. Now, Josh loves this tank because of the sound of the gun. Now, the gun does sound really good. We are in the E100, and we are on a supremacy battle. Now, the enemy have got one medium and one light tank. We've got three mediums, so our mediums go... Some go left towards A. Uh, there is one that goes to, to B. Opens up pretty much all of the enemy. So we know exactly where they are. Uh, we've got an IS-7. And we switch to heat because he is very hard to pen. And we do a nice little bit of damage. Now the T-62, even though he's just opened up all our team, all the enemy team, he has just got completely wrecked. So the back track comes up, managed to get a nice side shot into him. He starts capping B. He doesn't really want to be... He wants the T-62, which he does take out. So we are one tank down. Uh, there is now the Object 140, who kindly gives me his side, and we take another shot into him. So the enemy have now got B, we've got A, 
Uh, we've got one tank down, but there is a couple of tanks that are a one shot, just like this T30. 128 HP, we take him out for our first kill. And now the rest of the team are to our right, and our E100 is getting wrecked. Our waffle takes out the bat chap. Now we've got the IS-7 side, we do not pay, take a nice penetration into his side and we put him down to a one shot. So we have got two tanks down, the enemy have got two tanks down. There is an E-75 sitting right at the back, not sure what he's doing there, he shouldn't be there. But we switch to heat and we take a blind shot anyway just to see if it does pen. Now I'm not sure... If it penned, um, yes, it did pen. He's only on 300 health, so we did pen him. My team are shooting him. I switched to HE. He is very low, just so we can take him out. So now we've got the E100 in front of us. We've got the IS-7. We've got the Object 268 uh, to our right, and then we've got the Object 140 that has very low health. Now, again, E100 doesn't want to look at me. Gives me his side, and we take a nice little damage into him we have also cap b uh, so we're winning on caps we've got f uh, only two tanks down our waffle takes out the e100 so it's just the two the last two left alive the object 268 and the object 140 so again we switch to he very low health so we and we take out the object 140 for our third kill so last alive all our team are rushing the 268 i'm just going to wait until he doesn't look at me <laughs> And then um, as I'm reloading, I rush in for the ram. He gets shot. I shoot him and we give him a little love tap to finish him off for our fourth kill. So we saved the best till last. Only lasted a couple of minutes. But because it was a supremacy, we did get a little bit of damage. We finished all three missions. 4.9k damage, 80,000 credits. And we got ourselves a mastery badge to finish off the day. So again... Josh Evans, this video is totally for you. Uh, I, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for always watching my videos. Uh, stay tuned to the channel. Keep watching. And thanks again. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.